feel like you're, you're a regular around here for Austin Food & Wine. Absolutely. I'm a big fan. Um, this is one of my favorite festivals to come to all year long. I look forward to it. You think about Austin, you think about how people are fanatical about food here, fanatical about their city. Um, and for me, it's just a great opportunity to come here and visit with old friends that are chefs and winemakers and, and share my love and passion with the folks from here. And what's really great, too, is that um, you're doing a demo. Indeed, right? I am. And so that's really cool, right? Because all the fans who watch you on TV, uh, they follow you on social media, they get to kind of experience that one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because I, I, I find myself a lot when I'm working on on the television space, I'm, I'm, I'm judging food, I'm not necessarily cooking it. So I think this is a really great opportunity uh, for folks to have a little window into how I like to cook, what's important to me, hear my voice, uh, and how, 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 how fanatical and, cons and concerned I am with authenticity of food and flavor. So that's, you know, that's what the demos are about. They're fun too. Yeah. And I get to say thank you to everybody, which is great. Whenever uh, people think of you, they think of your restaurants in New Orleans, but how about Austin? Think that's in the future for you? I would love to uh, potentially do something in Austin or even in Texas in, in general. You know, I'm an El Paso boy from West Texas, and uh, you know, when I come, to, I come to anywhere in Texas, I feel like I'm home. Uh, my whole thing is I just want to make sure I spend enough time here. Like anything I put my name on, I want to make sure I take care of it, you know, and make sure we nurture it. I feel like they were just cheering for that answer. Yeah, maybe they want to. Maybe that's a sign. I agree. Well, who knows? But yeah, Austin is an amazing food city. I think it's the food city of all of Texas. Uh, I think the, the, the quality of chefs, the quality of ingredients here is, is unequal anywhere else in the state. And uh, that's why so many people love coming here. We have pretty good weather sometimes. Oh, you have beautiful weather. You have beautiful people. You have great parks. You have great, you have great everything here. Just like the allergies kind of stink sometimes. That's the only thing. You. you can't be perfect at everything. Let's talk about MasterChef. Yeah. Because I feel like this is a show that does not get old. It did not. Well, you know, we're coming into our 10th season with the adults. And we're, we're, we're in our 7th season with the kids. And this year of season 10 on MasterChef, we really have made a concerted effort to try to really uh, take it to the next level by way of, you know, more challenging field, field experiences with the contestants, traveling with them. Uh, and then really just scouring the country to get the best amateur home cooks uh, possible. And we have a beautiful, a beautiful array and diversity of people from all different backgrounds and also regionally where they're from, I think really imparts a lot of it to make the show special. Because they have particular sort of things that they do and nuanced dishes that make a, a big presence on the show. Would you rather work with the kids or with the adults? What's more challenging and what's more fun? Well, I think they both offer their own their own rewards and, and, and sort of challenges, I would imagine, you know. I think the kids are just so, I have an eight-year-old, and my eight-year-old, and I'm, we're, we're working with kids on MasterChef season seven this year, they're, we have four eight-year-olds, and how prepared, and their vocabulary, and their preparation, and their technique is, is, is shocking to me at that age. And you got to remember, some of these kids, if they're eight, they've been cooking for four years with their parents making breakfast and waffles and cookies and things like that. So they come in, believe it or not, even at 10 with a good amount of experience. Yeah. They're using words like deconstructed and, you Reductions. Know, reductions and, yeah, yeah. sous vide. Sous vide. Yeah. And then, and then for the adults, I mean, the adults, is, the best part about it is that this ends up becoming that one motivating factor that pushes them into the food world. 